Is what we see there, is that part of a persona, almost like a pantomime dame act, or is that you, is that the real thing, or do you have a condition where you just can't keep things in and they have to come out? You've got the you've got the wrong. You didn't watch the show for twenty four hours. Don't start with me. I'll start oh, okay. on you. Now listen no, to me. Yeah. I, I white flag I up. Believe this or not, my loves, and I, I tell you the truth. I'm a soft old fool. Mm -hmm. I'm the softest woman. If I saw you lying in the street, I'd take you and you could have one in my my bedroom. I'm a very kind. But I'm proud to be kind. But I can't stand when you go into somewhere, you've never done any of them any wrong, you've never met them, but they gang up on you because you're new in there. Mm. And when they do, my temper rises. I think, you cowardly chicken livered, because gang-handed people are rats. Mm. Those same people, if they pass you on their own, they wouldn't say a darn word. I heckle, and they were a horrible bunch in there. Mm. Well, you don't have to go back in there, but... Well, if you paid me enough there money, some... I would. I made a few bob. <laughs> <laughs> there are some new ones going in. Um, yeah. And the, the various names that have come out. Mm -hmm. uh, first one is Sarah Harding. So, do you know much about Sarah well, Harding? Well, I, I know she was in a group. Uh, Girls with... Loud. Yes, yeah, she was. Um, I'm not terribly sure she's going, going in there. But once again, um, she had a bit of controversy, didn't she, a few years ago? Well, we've all had that, haven't we? I don't think it's been confirmed. Um, good luck if she does. I hope she makes a few bob and does a good job. Well, none of them have been confirmed yet, as we know. So these are all, this is all gossip. Now, Paul Dannon... He's going in. So he's former Hollyoaks star. Yep. You, you, you're sure he's going in? I'm almost sure. Now, he is a wonderful entertainment. He spends his whole... A nice-looking little man, tiny, but very handsome. But he spends his whole life going on reality shows and making a few bob. God love him. Beats uh -huh. work. Uh -huh. But what I love about him is... Lovely, soft little nature, but he drinks and drinks and drinks. Oh. And when he drinks, he's the nastiest piece of work under the sun. Uh -huh. He take on Goliath. Uh -huh. you, know, he's, he, you know, so hugely entertaining. Will fight anybody when he's had a drink. So, worth mm. his money. This is, um, this is Kim's opinion of all these people, uh, by no, the way. No, he's a nice little chap. Yes. But, but Kim, he drinks. You know, bearing in mind your, your cleanliness and, you know, what, what a clean person you are. My, my wife, she sits and she watches Big Brother and she just is like a broken record. <laughs> Why, instead of smoking fags, aren't they in cleaning the rooms? Look at the filth of that room. I couldn't well, go into that The place stinks. Yeah? The girls, which I... A woman that does this, I loathe and detest. I hope you don't. I don't think you were looking at you. They leave their soiled knickers... They take them off, they throw them... I'm sorry. Do you know, I'm sorry. They I'm, put I'm, them by the bed. I have had And access. all the boys are walking yeah. around, they don't care. I Do you know, I have seen disgusting. that. I got into the gallery and oh. I was able to look in and she's absolutely right. I came back and told and you And they don't that, care that they? strange men yeah. are walking around looking at all these stained knickers. Panties and everywhere. I'm, I'm sure it wasn't just the girls. I'm sure there no, were the boys, boys are disgusting. The well. They've got underpants and yeah. smelly socks and they live in filth. Right, how do you think then, living in filth, if they might be, Sean Williamson, who was Barry, of course, in East oh, I love Do you know Sean? Do you like I have Sean? never met him, but I, I, I know of him. I love him when he was in East End. What a lovely... Seems a loved one. I've seen him interviewed. I've heard nothing but good things you about like him. him. Now, Bless him. Um, do you know who I'm looking for? Oh. Yeah. I'm looking forward to Derek Okora. He's well... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I mean he, he, even if you think he doesn't know you, he will know somebody belonging to you who's passed on. Yes, but the thing it? is, you see, Derek Okora, I think, is going in. He sees ghosts where there isn't any love, you know. Nellie's sitting there and sitting there. There's my grandfather. The man's got a vivid imagination, dear. He couldn't spot a ghost at 50 paces. And well. that's it. But bless him, he's making a few bob. For those yeah. that believe, keep mm -hmm. making the money, but flame and hopeless he is. A couple of Americans, Hulk Hogan. Uh, rumoured. That's not true. No. I wish he was. Because yeah. when I lived in America for 11 years, oh, a great big man, all tanned and gorgeous. Yeah. And oh, an animal, dear, and a beast. You like a man who could handle you. Were you offering? Yeah. I... <laughs> right. Don't play with the big girls, you're playing way over your head. Uh -huh. And I'm very <laughs> demanding. Um, now, there's been a, a lot of rumour about Caitlyn Jenner. What have you heard about Caitlyn Jenner? I did hear the rumour. I don't think... I do not think it's true. I don't think that'll happen. Um, I think you can cross that one off. OK, we'll cross that one off. Um, who are, oh, Spencer Matthews. So we've got a Spencer Matthews. Good-looking boy. Uh, very good-looking, but if he went in, he wouldn't do much. Uh, he's quiet, he's refined, he doesn't swear, and he knows not to do the wrong thing. You've seen him in, in Chelsea. I think more likely a boy called Sam from Chelsea will go in.
Oh. A tall, blonde, gorgeous boy. What about you when you were in there? Did you think much about what was going on in the outside, or do you just uh, do you genuinely forget the cameras are there eventually? Well, you see, I can't see a thing. I can barely see your face. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be, you I, might be I'm quite blind in about one that. eye and short sighted in the other. Love. If a camera smacked me in the gob, I wouldn't notice it. Huh. So I, I can't see a camera. I can't even see. A, no. Yeah. So you see, I'm unaware. I can't see them. But when you were having your moments oh, and you were God. kicking off, do, were you ever thinking, this no, is not going to look good for me or my self. husband won't be liking watching this? Or? No, my husband said, I understand being complete, I've been married 40 years, and he said, Kim, I could see you were infuriated with rage that people were so rotten. You see, I think people should be nicer than they are in this world. And to live in that house with those shocking people, they were disgusting most of them two-faced now I said it I'll say it again if someone doesn't like me it happens you know okay so just don't speak to me just say good morning Kim okay. and leave it well, but when you come to me every morning no. say do you want a cup of tea Kim okay. well, Carly Kim, Nolan I'm quite frightened to say it. I can't say good morning I have to say goodbye to you because we're out of time lovely talking to you and remember Kim's advice just be nice to people nice. okay